Hello everybody and welcome back to Total OS Today. Well, it is once again time for another release from the fine folks at Linux Mint. This is Linux Mint 12. I'm running this inside a virtual machine with Windows 7 as the host. Now this is the 64-bit uh, DVD edition with all the codecs and the shell extensions. Uh, already downloaded uh, that comes with the DVD edition now Linux Mint 12 is going to be a definite departure from what I understand from Linux Mint 11 it is going to combine the old uh, Genome 2 and or Gnome 2 and Gnome 3 desktop interface and and I guess it's going to allow you to switch back and forth so I did install it the install process was absolutely flawless so if you are a Windows PC person coming to Linux Mint as far as the installation process you should have no problems whatsoever so this is the default <clears throat> login screen here I am still trying to shake a cold that I've had all week so if I will try to do this and not sneeze anyway I need to type in my password so let's do that log in and see what we have now I have not tested this I downloaded this today installed it inside the virtual machine and we'll see what happens if there are any bugs or glitches we will notice the bugs together I guess okay now this is the default screen here and it says welcome welcome to Linux Mint and right away I can see there's a panel bar at the top and a panel bar at the bottom. I don't have the guest editions uh, tools installed and I don't think I will go through that. I did install most of the updates. Uh, I didn't install any updates for the language packs or VLC. Let's just go from right to left and see what we have. Okay, my online accounts. This is my internet. Okay, I could see here that the volume indicator has changed no longer does this have the uh, media player controls which I think would come in very handy but it does not have it alright 11 recommended updates I will not do that the middle is the time and calendar if you click it will give you the uh, full calendar now one thing I noticed if I right click on the top panel bar nothing happens you will not be able to add applets I don't like that but let's continue. We have uh, applications and places. Now, those of you who have used uh, Ubuntu in the past or Linux Mint in the past, without the Mint menu, this should come uh, and look, or this should look very familiar to you. Your menu and sub menu here. Again, we've seen this before, very easy to use. I'm not seeing any issues here. A very clean uh, Genome 2 or Gnome 2 interface in terms of navigating around the uh, desktop and I'm just clicking through the uh, or highlighting the menus and sub menus here places the home folder desktop so on and so forth again as usual very clean very easy to use great job as far as the looks for the gnome 2 shell let me right click here and see what we have let's go to change desktop background Okay, another uh, clean appearance appearance <laughs> menu here. Lots of wallpapers here on the left. I think I'll keep this the way it is. Now we have here, Welcome to Linux Mint. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? Let's just go to new features and see what we have. Okay. All right, Linux Mint 12 is a new step forward, focusing or using new technologies in a brand new desktop. You have a screenshot here. GNOME 3 and MGSC. Linux Mint comes with a brand new desktop built with GNOME 3 and MGSC. MGSC Mint GNOME Shell Extensions is a desktop layer on top of GNOME 3 that makes it possible for you to use GNOME 3 in a traditional way. You can disable all components within within MGSC to get a pure GNOME 3 experience, or you can enable all of them to get a GNOME 3 desktop that is similar to what you've been using before. Of course, you can also pick and only enable the components you like to design your own desktop. 
All right, the main features in MGSC are the bottom panel, application menu, window list, task centric, desktop, visible, system tray icons. Here you have the Alt tab switcher in MGSC. All right, MGSC also includes additional extensions such as the media player indicator and multiple enhancements to Genome or Gnome 3. All right, that's fine. Let's get out of this. Quit the tabs. Let's get out of the Welcome to Linux Mint. And let's see if we can figure out how to change the shell extension of Linux Mint 12. Uh, applications. I'm going to guess it's under System Tools. Um, system Settings. Appearance, maybe? No, it's not there. Uh, let's see. System Tools. We tried System Settings. Let's try other. What was that? MGSC is it under M? I don't see M. Um, Gnome shell? No, nothing there. Um, I don't know. Let's try advanced settings. Okay, maybe it's under here. Desktop. Nothing there. Fonts. No nope. shell, there it is. Nope, I guess not. Shell extensions, nothing there. Theme, shell theme, nothing there either. Windows, and nothing there. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's try clicking Alt Tab. Nothing there. Right click the bottom. Nothing there. These are the workspaces here at the bottom. System settings. I think we tried appearance, didn't we? Yeah. All right, well, this is a release candidate. It has not been finalized, and um, I'm just not seeing how to switch from GNOME 2 to GNOME 3. You would think it'd be under System Tools, System Settings, but I'm just not seeing it. All right, well, I don't want to drag this on. Um, as far as GNOME 2, I mean, it looks fine. It's it's clean. It's easy to navigate through. Uh, if you are coming from a Windows environment, this shouldn't you shouldn't have any problems with the GNOME 2 environment, none whatsoever. As far as switching back and forth, which you should be able to do, according to what I read in the release notes, I'm not seeing it here. And, and maybe I don't know. It seems like maybe Linux Mint should have just put a shortcut folder here. Uh, for you know, for lack of a better term, maybe a, a switch per se to be able to switch back and forth between the old gnome and the new gnome. I think that would have made it easier, certainly for me at least. Maybe I'm I'm being overly simplistic here, but I'm not seeing how to switch back and forth uh, between the gnome two and gnome three uh, shell extension. Um, you would think it would be under system settings, but it's not happening. Uh, I did try other uh, advanced settings shell extension there's just nothing there nothing under th theme okay I did notice something here an exclamation point shell theme and nothing's happening so evidently uh, something did not get installed uh, maybe it's something I did but I, I didn't see any glitches or errors in the installation process so uh, I'm not sure what's going on here a little bit disappointing, but again, this is not the final candidate. It, it is a release candidate. This is, I think, this is the first time I've had a problem with a release candidate from the folks of Linux Mint, but I'm sure it will be corrected in the final release. All right, well, that's it. This has been a quick look, I guess, at Linux Mint 12 with the GNOME 2 environment and not the GNOME 3. There's certainly nothing wrong with GNOME 2. It looks, it looks very clean. 
um, easy to navigate through. I don't have any problems with this whatsoever, but I really wanted to take a look at the uh, MGSE. <laughs> Sounds like a food additive. Sorry, I couldn't resist. But maybe we'll be able to take a look at it in the final release for Linux Mint 12. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching uh, a quick look at Linux Mint 12. And as always, guys, I will catch you sometime in the future. Ciao.